What's up guys and welcome back. As on our previous video, we taught you guys how to do the big brake kit on a 2017 Dodge Ram 1500. Obviously, it was just for the front and now we're getting to the back. So check it out guys. This is what the back looks like. Here we go. This is the OEM rear brakes on it. By the way, this is an RT. Supercharged, love it, love it. Beautiful truck, beautiful truck. Just to show you guys what it's supposed to look like, this is what it's supposed to look like. Obviously we did one side already, so that way we could bang out the other side a lot quicker. So, first thing you are going to do, obviously we're gonna go to this side, you have two 21 millimeter bows, which are for the caliper. One, and somewhere along my finger, two. So we're gonna go ahead and take those two bolts out, right? So I already went ahead and obviously loosened them up. Now I'm gonna use my little Milwaukee gun. Take it out, that's one bolt. Damn, what an assistant. Frank, you ready? Frank's gonna grab the cat of a regular go. Oh, hold on. Bam, and that's two. Just like that, we got the caliper out. Frank is killing the game right now. Frank, I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to fucking, I'm about to hire you. Let me keep this PG. This. All right, let me put this over here. All right, so we got the caliper out. Now we want to get the rotor out. Uh-huh, rotor doesn't want to come out that easy, Frank. What do we have to do next, Frank? Hit her with the hammer. Hit her with the hammer. Ah, uh, we could put it right there. Let it hang right there. There we go. Let it hang. Regardless, we're changing the lines on it. So, guys, grab a nice hammer. This one has been with me. Ha! Quite a few. Here we go. Almost there. I can feel it. I feel it. You feel it? And voila. Alright guys, next thing you want to do, clean the hub. You got to clean the hub. If you don't clean the hub, the rotor's not going to sit flush. You are going to have a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it right now with a wire brush and we'll get back to it. All right, guys, so we got the hub nice and clean. We wire brushed everything. Now we're going to make sure the rotor fits perfect. Let's try that rotor, Frank. Yeah, that's a nice looking rotor. Too bad it's not going to stay like that for this whole life. <laughs> How's that? Flush, right? Yep. Flush. Beautiful. We're going to take the rotor out. We're going to put some anti seize around the hub. So that way we don't have this issue when we're changing the brakes again or I don't know, whatever. Even if we got to do the e-brakes later on, the emergency brake pads, at least we're going to be able to take that rotor out without smacking it. All right, guys. So a little bit of anti-seize on the hook. Now let's get that rotor on, Frank. Damn. I'm vlogging with Frank today. I'm, I'm having fun with this. You having fun, Frank? Yeah. <laughs> Frank, like, yeah, yeah, not really, but yeah. Yeah, I uh, just, who knows, got a little scratch. Uh, no big deal. Anyways, once you got this whole step done, next thing we're gonna do is the caliper bracket. That's what we're gonna do next. Where it works. As far as the caliper bracket, guys, don't forget on every kit, you're gonna have the bolts, which is gonna bring some shims, and it's gonna bring, obviously, additional washers for the bolts, right? So we're gonna go ahead and open this. This is what the bracket looks like. On one of the sides, it has a cutout. The cutout, that's the side that's gonna go. Let me see if I can show you guys. I should have put this bracket on with the rotor off, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna, let's put that bracket on with the rotor off. Just gonna make life easier for the guys that wanna see. Uh, I'm gonna take this off guys just to show you. Uh, not gonna lie, but that rotor is heavy. 
No washer, right? Yeah, it has washers. No, I mean two. The, two. two no, no, for the for the boat itself, Frank. One, we're missing another one. All right, guys, so we have the bolts for the caliber bracket. Again, a little bit of anti, anti Z's. <laughs> a little bit of Loctite. Here's a little bit of Loctite. You have the caliber bracket. There's a cutout on one side. That's the side you are going to make face into the knuckle, into the spindle, into the caliper bracket, but whatever you want to call it. Where are the caliper mounts, guys? That's how you want it. Grab the bolts. So don't forget, these bolts are no longer 21. They are 22 now. So they are bigger. 